If you're thinking of moving to Portland, Oregon, check out this video. We're gonna get into all the aspects of what it's been like for us to live here in Portland over the last three years. Here we go. I'm Aaron Cullen, this is Brianna Cullen, and in this video, we're gonna get into what it's like to move to Portland, Oregon. And we're gonna cover all kinds of aspects from schools, the feeling, shopping, Coffee. where you, where you <laughs> wanna live, if you like to drink beer, where you should go. This video is really just kind of an overview to give you a little bit more nuanced aspects of you know, people that weren't born and raised here that moved here over three years ago and what our experience has been like and my view from being a real estate agent to give you a little bit better insight and some more clues on if you wanna to move to Portland and if you do, where you might wanna live. Here we go. We moved to Portland about three years ago and I also lived in this neighborhood that we're walking through today uh, like 12 years ago. So I would say one of the things about Portland, one of the great things about it is that every area really has its own unique feeling. There are so many cool neighborhoods to choose from and your experience living here is gonna depend a lot on which neighborhood, which pocket, which suburb of Portland you choose. Yeah, it's so true. It's so many different areas that make up Portland. That's one of the really cool things that I like about living here. And we lived in Los Angeles for a long time. And that's actually one of the things I really liked about there too. That city had just gotten so big, but it used to be all these smaller towns or pockets or neighborhoods that the city just kind of like, you know, overgrew. And now it just seems like one giant city. But you can still see those, definitely those like kind of nuanced, you know, different feelings in those different neighborhoods. And Portland has that a lot more pronounced, in my opinion, than a lot of other cities. So I think that's what's one of the really cool aspects about, you know, check out our videos, look at some of the other ones, and you can get a, kind of a get of a feel for what some of those other neighborhoods or suburbs are like, because there really is a big variety. I think no matter what you're into, if you're more into the city, or if you want more want the suburb life, there's something for everybody. So no matter what kind of lifestyle you're looking for, I think there really is something for everyone here. You know, if you want that downtown feeling, you know, we've got the Pearl District right downtown with brand new condos and high rises. Want, like, walkable neighborhoods with a street full of coffee shops and cafes and bars. There are a lot of neighborhoods like that in Portland, especially I would say in the Northeast, the quadrant that we're in now, the Southeast, yep. both of those have a lot of really cool walkable neighborhoods the Northwest does as well. So I think, you know, your first few months in Portland are about like exploring different neighborhoods, finding different parks and hiking trails. And definitely if you're thinking of moving here and you aren't familiar with all of those different pockets, you wanna come up for a visit, check them out, see some houses in different areas mm -hmm. so that you can see what's the right fit for you. Reach out to Aaron, he can set something yeah. up for you. Yeah, give me a call. My information's right down there in the description area. I love talking to people about Portland. I love living here. So, you know, let me share that knowledge with you. I think another big thing about, you know, your first year in Portland is getting used to the seasons. So I have really loved having all four seasons here. You're gonna be stocking up on different weather gear if you're not coming from a place with rain and all four seasons, because if you wanna spend time outside in the winter, you know, you need a rain jacket, you need a hood, yep. you need the rain up. boots. So that's definitely gonna be a big part of your integration acclimation into living in the Northwest. Yeah, so true. That was one of the first purchases I made. I already had a rain jacket, but I wanted one of those light rain jackets with a hood. And they, the hoods here will have like a little extra flap that you can kind of like extends out and you can flip it up a little bit. And when it's a light rain, it just keeps that rain from going off to the side from going over on your eyeglasses and stuff. We just passed that house uh, right down there that this is one of the, also one of the cool things that you'll get to notice about moving to Portland is that, you know, the, the city is known for having very creative people, creative outlets. Portlandia, you know. <laughs> yeah. And so this house that we just passed, and you'll see these all the time, you know, he's just expressing his own little creativeness. He had a bunch of 
like little knickknacks and stuff in his yard and a sign that said love made out of different colored pieces of wood and a little plastic dinosaur you know in his garden uh, you'll just see a lot of little you know kind of like creative outlet type things like that that i really personally appreciate <laughs> And then you'll get someone right next to them that has like this amazing manicured yard. So yeah, this house you know, right here is crazy. It's so amazing. Yeah, this house right here is really cool. I love this part of Alameda. It's got all the big, huge houses. You know, these houses like in this vintage homes. Yeah, like really beautiful character. Yeah, and all these homes in this part of the neighborhood are over a million dollars, some multi-million. We just walked by a real cute one back there, though. That was like. $7.95, Yeah, no, that's true. So. Yeah, right on the edge of this block, but that's one of the cool things I like about in Alameda and these pockets is you can have, they still do have a real mix of prices. You can have a multi-million dollar estate, which is like we're passing by right here, and then right across the street, you know, can be a $700,000 house. All my life I've loved walking through like neighborhoods with beautiful homes, so I would always take you know, a less expensive home in a really gorgeous neighborhood so that I yeah. get to experience the neighborhood. Yeah, I mean, some of these houses have like park-like settings to their grounds, which is just beautiful to be able to walk around. All right, here's our car. We're gonna hop in it and take you over to Alberta. Alberta. If you have any questions and you wanna reach out, my information is right down there in the description, email, text, phone call, just go ahead and reach out. Hey, so here we are on Alberta Street. This has a ton of really cool eclectic shopping, coffee shops, kid toy stores. Yeah, I think just something to know about Portland is that in the whole like shop local movement nationwide, Portland is the quintessential like local living, shop local kind of place. We have a favorite toy store. Actually, Juliet told me you're taking their, her there today after school today. Ah, uh, yes, the Multnomah <laughs> Village Toy Store. Thinker Toys. <clears throat> She and lost this cheap little plastic <laughs> bouncy ball that's pink. So, hey, this was like a few days ago. I said, she wants to go. Hey, sure, let's go. So a really cute little bookstore and I'll call Green Bean Books. Yep. And very artsy, a lot of um, brands that are very small, handmade, US made clothing brands here in Portland. And here is Barista, which is one of your favorite coffee yeah, shops. Yeah, I love Barista. This has been here for a long time. I used to come here, you know, yeah. back in the day, a decade ago, write in my journal, yeah. drink the coffee. Well, even myself. when we'd come to visit before we moved here, you would come bring us in here yeah. all the time. Let's talk about food, what it's like to eat in <laughs> Portland. <laughs> I don't know about you, but when I get oriented in a new city, even if I'm just on vacation, I need to find like the best coffee shop that's in my vicinity and i think you know moving to portland one of the most fun things is to find your spots yes. so portland has the best coffee in the country in my opinion yep. i think the she is a coffee yeah. i would say expert <laughs> in my <snob>. book <laughs> um i lived in portland you know many many years ago when really this was the only city with good coffee when i moved to la from portland there was like one good coffee shop. It was the commissary. Is this before Melrose Starbucks? Is this <laughs> Star I'm not a Starbucks person. This is like as good craft right. coffee is moving through the country. Right. It started in Portland. And now, you know, every city has great coffee for the most part, but Portland still has like some of the very best, like Heart, Cova, just really good coffee shops. So you know, you're gonna find your, your great coffee shop in your neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And then on the other side of the beverage spectrum, you've is got- craft beer. Yeah, and wine. Yes, so and wine. We have wine country uh, in yep. Yam Hill, the, the Willamette Valley. Hill, exactly, Willamette Valley, and then craft beer. Yes, and actually we have more craft breweries per capita than any other city in the US. Did you know that? I did not know that. Lots of good beer here to taste. It's one of the fun things I like to do. All kinds of beer, but especially if you like an IPA, there's a lot of amazing Northwest IPAs. Yep. Um, and in Bend, Oregon as well, there's some great breweries, Hood River. So all throughout Oregon, there's some just really great beer. And then food as well. So because Portland has such a strong 
creative and artistic community, I think that really shines through in the different kinds of cuisine and restaurants and cafes yeah. that are here. They're just really amazing food. Yeah, there is a lot of really good food. You know, because of COVID, a lot of places did shut down, but we still have a ton of great restaurants. I think it's gonna foster new restaurants to pop up. Yeah, I agree. And I think that's something we can talk about a little bit. You know, we're talking about moving to Portland in 2022. This is July, 2022. A lot of the country is really just bouncing back from COVID. And so I think that's true here. I think we're already starting to see some revitalization yeah. and new restaurants and shops opening. We just had a breakside brewery um, shop open yep. over by us, as well as a new Willamette Valley wines mm -hmm. tasting room. Strawberries. Are those strawberries those or raspberries? raspberries? Ooh, raspberries. Wow, I can't believe they're the already ripe. Last summer we were picking those at Lusher Farm in like yeah, August. Yeah, right in their front yard. Gotta love that. So to wrap up the food section, yes, you have a lot of options. And we're not talking, you know, Applebee's, Denny's, McDonald's. We're talking local food. And like a huge range from like really special high-end dining to really award-winning food trucks. Yeah, yeah. Portland, if you're not aware, is known for their food trucks. They have some uh, city blocks where they'll have, you know, a whole part of the street where they just have permanently food trucks are there and these little pockets where you know they're gonna be and all different kinds of cuisine and they're all really, really good. Something that makes me think of is gardening. And, you know, I think a lot of people in Portland have their own vegetable garden in their yard. There's a lot of gardening here. There's yeah. a lot of farmers markets and really high quality produce. We just, I mean, we just walked by raspberries. We live near a community supported agriculture and community gardens. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of access to really fresh quality food. And then also events in the summertime, like farm to table, um, evenings at a winery or an estate where you can go yes. and you know buy tickets and have that experience of like yeah. a long table on a green lawn in a farm where you're having a you know full multi-course meal with mm -hmm. wine and beer pairings and yep. just that experience. Yeah that's something we're actually going to be doing inviting our daughters teachers to and just to you know treat them, let them know we appreciate them, plus it's fun for us. Plus and, they're French and yeah. so we know they they really appreciate good food and wine. Yeah, exactly. And it's really cool being able to have that stuff at really affordable prices here. And you know, there's a there's a lot of them that do that. So I, I think that that's really, really cool. If you like doing those kinds of things, you know, you have those at your fingertips to be able to do. You know, just to talk about housing, you know, here's a couple of craftsmen. Here's a great example right here. Here's two craftsmen. This one's been redone and pretty well taken care of. And then right next to it is a really dumpy craftsman. You know, but these are, you know, big houses. And so there are opportunities here depending on your budget. If you want to have a little bit, save a little bit on your house, but have more elbow grease uh, to build that equity. You know, there's a lot of those opportunities you know, like this house right here. I mean, tons of cool character. If you like these older houses, you know, that are 80 to 100 years old, you know, Portland has a lot of these. Uh, a lot of them are gonna be fixed up, but there's still a ton of them that haven't been. So, you know, reach out to me if you wanna learn more about those kind of opportunities and might be interested in getting an older house so I could kind of steer you to the right pockets for that. I think while we're talking about real estate, honey, just something to hit on when people are thinking of moving to Portland in 2022 is overall housing market and prices. So, you know, maybe give them a sense of what's happened to the housing market here over the last few years. Yeah, in the last few years, you know, we've seen a huge boom in the real estate. Depending on which pocket you're talking about, you know, Portland in general has appreciated, you know, 30 to 40% in the last three years. And most of the country, you know, for that fact, has also appreciated, uh, you know, around those similar numbers, you know, depending on which city you're talking about. But, you know, everywhere across America, you know, everyone's talking about inflation. 
you know, all of that has definitely affected housing prices with a housing shortage. People want bigger homes, bigger yards. Condos and stuff were a lot less competitive. Now they're going a little bit faster and people are starting to move you know, back into the city. And, but the, the big houses are definitely still in demand. Yeah, that's a really neat house. So what do you think, I think the question on people's minds might be then, is it still a good value here if the prices have yeah. gone up? Yeah, that's a great question. I think it's still a, a tremendous value here in Portland. And I always look at housing as a long-term. You know, we're investors ourselves in real estate. And that, that's how I started before I came a real estate agent. I was a real estate investor. We did some flipping and we would buy houses, fix them up and then rent them out. So we have a handful of rentals as well. And I view them as kind of my retirement strategy as kind of building another revenue stream. I think, you know, Portland is still a great time to buy. And especially right now, because the market has softened a little bit, you know, interest rates have come up. Eventually they will come back down. And so you could always refinance your loan at that point if you end up having a higher interest rate. We've been wandering around this really pretty neighborhood and I don't know exactly where our car yeah, is. Yeah, where is our <laughs> car? Yeah. Um, but I would go ahead and give me a call and I could get in, I could go on and on about, you know, the current state of the market. But in a nutshell, I mean, I think Portland, and so, unless something majorly changes, you know, Portland, at the, even at the current values, even though it's increased a lot, is still really, really worth the current prices. And I think they'll still have a lot of room over time, you know, to climb because Portland is the cheapest city on the West Coast that has an international airport and has the pool of the jobs. So you have all those amazing things going for it. Yeah, and I think, you know, just on a very like personal anecdotic, anecdotal level, moving is such a big deal. And in this video, we're talking about, you know, moving to Portland, moving cities. Yeah. It's a huge decision. It's something that at a lot of times in my life, I felt like I, I needed to find the right place for me. And I've been lucky to do that in, in different cities. But I overall feel so fortunate that we made the move and it was a big decision for us with yeah. a lot of like oh, ah, really back and forth is this really what we want to do for sure and it it really has been if you guys have any questions go ahead and reach out my information's in the description area right down there it was my pleasure getting to talk to you guys i'll see you in the next one bye